this is Yalira Brillian from Brilliant Massage Therapy and, and Skin Cure Burlington, Vermont. And thanks for tuning in. So today I am making a video on this topic that's kind of been coming up since I hired, you know, ma male massage therapists, which we have two now. And um, I wrote a blog post, so I thought, you know, I'll make a video too. Uh, to add it to it um, because it's just interesting how our society um, has these like in the US you know every society has different but I'm mostly referring to US um, these gender roles and I don't know it's like almost maybe more than Europe because I grew up in Europe so I just see things maybe differently but not really. I think Vermonters see things differently too. Vermonters are really open, but you know there is gender bias. Um, like women often complain that um, they are not like treated as like equal in a workplace, like in a corporate settings, higher end roles, which I don't know if that's true, but there is that annotation that look I can like men are the breadwinners in the society in fault both due to women and men um you know we kind of continuing this um let's say well it used to be more like that well not really like 100 200 years ago it was like um you know a farm and then men obviously stronger most of the time they would um, do like a manly duties and women would, you know, feed maybe the animals and take care of the kids and clean them. It's, it's like equally both were really working hard because it was so hard like to live. You didn't have conveniences. You had to like, oh, I turned on the TV by mistake. Oh, I don't know. So, um, but you know, like, and then and what happens what happens in the society too like there are bad apples in the field like in any field like doctor nurse whatever you know men and they make bad name for themselves because maybe they are some like inappropriate doctors you know there's been scandals for males mostly than females I'm not saying there are inappropriate females there are uh, but um, you know that's kind of the more consensus so then people are afraid well i don't want to go to male doctor or i don't want to go to male have male nurse or male anyone who has like this close contact with the vul person in a vulnerable position with which massage is a vulnerable position because you're laying on a table face down you don't know what's going on you know you totally surrendered this person's good graces whatever to help you, you know, pain, stress, or whatever you're coming for, you know, but so it should never have a sexual connotation because that's not what massage therapy is all about. It's all about helping you the best that's possible, you know, and helping you to feel the best. And it's harder for male therapists to find uh, jobs. It's, you know, I'd say 20% less bookings. But that's not true because like, you know, males are actually stronger therapists. So in the long run, they will, they do build a stronger following clientele who like don't care about the gender, who actually come for what the therapist skills are, you know, what they're offering. So I'd say as long as you're going to a business that is really, you know, good name established, you know, the owner, or you know, you know, I think you're safe. You shouldn't be afraid like of female or male therapists because, you know, female therapists doesn't mean they're better just because they're female. You know, it's all about this technique and especially if you're looking sports massage or strong massage. So. I think 
there shouldn't be like that. And, you know, as well, women shouldn't be treated in a, like a manly position. It's like they can't do them. Like this whole gender bias in our society, it's kind of funny to watch sometimes, really. And when you're, you know, and in the close contact with it, like, uh, sometimes people cancel just because it's a male ther. They find out, oh, well, it's a male therapist, so I'm afraid. And, you know, we totally don't judge them, but um, if you trust that business, you shouldn't be afraid unless you don't trust it. So that's my two cents. I hope you have a good day. Please subscribe and like this video. I'll see you soon. Bye.